Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is calibration. Included with your scanning system will be a calibration board. Depending upon the lenses that you purchased, the calibration board can be very small, like the one we're looking at here, which is a 5mm square calibration board, or it can be much larger, about uh, yay by yay, for the 25mm calibration board. So it can vary from uh, almost a foot and a half across all the way on down to uh, even smaller than this board to one that's just about an inch by inch square. When doing calibration we want to make sure that we're using the correct board for the correct lenses. Uh, this will only come into account if you purchase multiple lenses. If not, your calibration board will be set up for the lenses that you're using. Calibration is very important for the HDI scanners. This is how we really drive our accuracy. Uh, so we highly recommend spending quite a bit of time doing the calibration, especially initially. You may want to spend upwards of 15-20 minutes just doing your first calibration to ensure that we have a proper calibration uh, and that you understand the theory. Now as time goes on uh, you'll be able to do calibrations much quicker and much more efficiently but for the first couple of times we recommend taking a decent amount of time to making sure that everything is calibrated properly. So the calibration process can be simply put as taking images of this calibration board with the scanner. Uh, when we do this we're going to take these images at a slight angle so that the calibration board is at an angle relative to the scanner itself. So if we imagine the scanner bridge being flat like this instead of being flat on we want to be at a slight angle and take images and then be at a slight angle the other way and take images. And this is to create a, a depth for the image to help better calculate what's going on inside the lenses. Um, so when we do the calibration we also want to ensure that uh, we're getting the full focal the full field of view for both lenses so when we get into the actual calibration process you will see that there's a screen where we can view what both of these cameras see and we want to make sure that we take this calibration board and take images all the way around the edge of that screen to ensure that all of the areas of this lens in each one of these cameras is being calibrated. So we're going to do this in a somewhat two-dimensional area and then we're going to move forward, do that in another plane and do go backwards and do that in another plane. Now because of the angle that we're using, we're hoping to essentially fill the full vol volume or the working volume of our scanner with calibration images. Um, that way we can understand exactly what's going on with the scanner and its particular lenses and we can have a fully cali calibrated uh, working area. That covers the basic theory of the calibration so now we can go ahead and put this theory into practice and do a calibration and show what a proper calibration would look like and then from there we can move on to actually starting to calibrate our rotary table which is very quick and easy and then scanning and taking data.